An introduction to surfacing, video 4. If you're restarting Creo, maximise the page and set the working directory. Open and open the part. At the moment these are all individual surfaces. Let's go and merge surfaces together. Select the front surface, hold the control key down, and then select the top surface. You'll notice the merge has become active. Green tick to accept it. Click away to deselect it. This time select the top surface or the merge and the rear surface and merge these together. Green tick to accept it. Rotate the part over and merge the bottom section. So the bottom section, control key and the previous merged section. Select merge again. Green tick to accept it. So now select the merge, control key and select the side. Select merge, green tick to accept it, click away to deselect it. Rotate the part round, select the merge, control key, select the other side and merge again, green tick. Click away to deselect everything. Merging the surfaces has now created actual geometry where we can use edges, etc. Select the chamfer command, rotate the mouse over, and select the underside edges. Hold the control key down to multi select, and change the setback to be 3. Enter. Green tick to accept it. Click away. This time we select the round command, select the side, control key, other side edge, rotate the part over, reselect the control key and the other two edges, change the value to be 5, enter. Green tick to accept it. Click away to deselect it. And now let's put one more round round the front. Select round. Select the edge. And because we have rounds on the edges, it should run straight across. Double click the value, change it to 3 and enter. Green tick to accept it. Click away to deselect it. Control D will rotate the mouse back to its original position. We can now change the surface geometry into a solid path. To do this, if you select Merge 5, we can then get to Thicken. You can see at the moment the Thicken is trying to go inside. Click onto the arrow to change it so it comes outside. Change the value to be 2 and enter. Green tick to accept it. Control D will rotate the mouse round again. If we go to View, Section, then click onto the vertical datum plane, rotate it round, and you can now see that the mouse has thickness. Green tick to accept it. In the model tree, hover over the section, right click and deactivate. Click away to deselect it. Control D. Save the part. This ends this video.